Hey guys and welcome back to As Dusk Falls and I believe this is going to be our final video. We are going to finish this story in this episode and I am extremely excited. I have loved this game so so much. I cannot wait to see how this all ends so uh, let's get started. May 30, 1998. Afterwards, the day after. Terrible night. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Amazing. That is so good. <laughs> They're back together. Perfect. Okay, that's a really nice start, but how does this all go wrong from here? Three days later. We sitting at a kitty arcade. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Don't got no space invaders in here. He must have walked for a, a long time. I don't even know where, what town this is. Um, water. Please, can I have some water? <clears throat> you want a drink? Then buy one. <laughs> Your car break down or something? I just need a ride north. Well, I'm headed south. Try that fella. <sighs> okay, well at least one person's helpful. <sighs> now how's that for dumb luck? <laughs> Excuse me, are you headed north? How far? Hmm. Far as you'll take me? Well, I don't like hitchhikers much, but mm. I'll bite. Who are you running from? And what have you done to piss him off? <laughs> well, uh, just traveling, wanted by cops. Oh my God, should I be honest? I'm so tempted. I'm running from the cops. FBI too. <laughs> For what? Not turning in your homework? <laughs> he doesn't believe. Sorry, kid. I can't get mixed up in it. Maybe I shouldn't have what said that. What if we that. throw for it? Three darts each? I win. You give me a ride. If I don't, oh. I'll buy you a drink. Two drinks? Ah, what the hell. I'm bored. Do we even have the money? Oh gosh, my dart skills are going to be tested. 27. Your turn. Oh, damn. Okay. Good luck. Oh, man. Oh, God. Is that good enough? Looks good enough to me. Please. All right. What did he get? Mm, not bad. I was aiming for a bullseye. I've before. Ready for round two? Yes. <laughs> I was trying to get a bullseye. It didn't work. Oh. He knows he stopped this guy. Damn. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my gosh. Look, I, I hit it in the middle. What's that? 25? Hey, nice. slow down, Robin Hood. I want my free drinks. <laughs> Final round. Stakes are high. Oh, this is, this is too close. I think we'll win. We'll win. Yeah. 
Ooh. <laughs> Hanging in there, though. Terrible. No <laughs> rush, kid. Oh, dude. Hate for you to mess up now. Oh, no, we've got this. We've got this in the bag, but I think he's going to be angry. We're still buying him a drink, though. Hey, did that time just, like... <laughs> did I Look win? Look at that. <laughs> you sharking me? I ain't got no patience for sharks. <sighs> I'll still buy the drinks. Calm down. Oh. <sighs> oh, no. Can I help you? I'm looking for an 18-year-old male, sand-colored hair, connected to that motel shooting in Two Rock. Who's asking? Someone oh, who was there. No. Shit. Fucking cops. Does this look like a place that serves 18-year-olds? Oh, I'm amazed that they are... Go for it. ...helping him. Have you seen him or not? His people killed my partner. He's going straight to death row. You sure you're a cop? <laughs> you ain't dressed like one. I'm off duty. <laughs> this one's personal. Yeah, well, I ain't seen anyone. How about you? Seen anyone underage tonight? Well, you look pretty young. <laughs> Just answer the fucking question. Okay, let me think. Well, there's Shane at the bar. <laughs> that big guy, Gene, who comes around for dinner. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, wait a minute, maybe it's Lyle. Quick, 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 quick. Did you see a teenager or not? No, I can't say I did. But if I do, I'll call you. Or actually, uh, <laughs> I could just call you anyway. <sighs> oh. That's so good. I'm surprised that they they didn't turn him in. Like, why would they protect him? Especially when the policewoman said about hey. the shooting. Huh. Like, they have no reason to protect him. There. Tell me the truth. You kill all those cops? Blow up the school bus? All that shit from TV? I don't want trouble. Shit, kid. You are the trouble. So did you do it? Well, not me. Personally, it was... I don't want to pick any of these answers. He was involved. So what if I did? <sighs> Had a feeling. Summer of 87. A buddy and I rob a grocery store up in Reno. When the cops find us, I get scared and run. They beat me to an inch of my life. My pal, black guy named Dave. He, uh, he wasn't so lucky. Okay, so Come he's on. sort of been in the same situation. Let's get you north. I'm amazed that he, he helped, but he knows what Jay's been going through, I think. I personally would be really scared <laughs> um, to, to give him a lift because I, I've never seen him before. I would just be nervous. Word to the wise. Lay low. Call a friend if you got one. Oh, we do. The, the lady that we did the homework with. <laughs> we could call her. That's... That's about the only person that we can contact. Yeah, we have her number. On the hunt for an 18 year old male, one connection to multiple murders at the Desert Green Motel in Arizona. What? Oh no, if they get his picture 
But then, like, there's so many 18-year-old males around. He should be okay. Is this a collect call? Yes. Please state your name. Hmm. Oh, he said, uh, Dean. Yeah. Tell her it's Dean. Hello? I have a collect call from Dean. Oh my god. Uh, yes, I accept. I was wondering when you call. Hmm. Vanessa, I need help. Why? What's wrong? I'm in Utah. I don't have any money. I've barely slept. Ooh, slow down. Utah? Are you in some kind of trouble? Oh. Should I be honest with her too? I was honest with the guys at the bar and it worked out fine. The cops. I know. They think I did something. I didn't, but... What do they think you did? There was this burglary, and I was there. I was part of it. But I swear, I, I didn't want to be. I got dragged in, and now they think... Uh... It's okay, Dean. I believe you. You do? I have good instincts. <laughs> You're not that kind of person. Look, things have been shitty here, too. My dad's convinced <laughs> you were a drug dealer. He found an old bag of weed in my t-shirt drawer, and now I'm grounded for, like, half the summer. Seriously? I know. He's fucking crazy. <laughs> Where are you now? Uh, Salt Lake City. Near the... Uh, the Sabrina Hotel? I hope nobody's listening in or monitoring okay. this phone call. I'll you a room. You can order room service, take a nap, and what? later I'll call to check that you're... Vanessa? <sighs> You know what? I'll meet you there. Wait, you'll... Don't you have finals? <sighs> Screw finals. I'd rather help a friend. Wow. Oh, that is amazing. I want her to get here. That'd be incredible, but... I am worried. It's not safe for her. No. It's dangerous here. You shouldn't come. To Salt Lake City? I've been. It's weird, but it's safe. But no, I don't mean are that. You sure? <laughs> don't worry about me. Seriously. I'll book the room under my name. See you soon. Wow. Okay. That makes me feel so good. He's not alone in this. He's got someone. Meanwhile, in Turok, Arizona. From the desert dream. Mm. Probably gonna regret this. But right now you're all I need. Hey. I know, Marlon. Two years sober oh. and I can't even fall off the wagon in style. Right. It should be okay. It should be okay. What's got you so... <gasps> oh, God. They're not alone. Hello? Who, who's there? Who is that? Oh, no. Oh, no. There's someone in the bed? Hang on. No! Oh, uh, damn. Oh, God. Sharon. S -s sorry, sorry. You, you can... Uh... Jesus. 
I finally nod off, and you try to bludgeon me to death with a... What, you bake now? Why you is... broke in to my home. You left the window open. <sighs> Bike blew a tire, the first mile. Right. I lost my sons. Been scrambling ever since. Oh, really? Just needed some place to rest. Just by herself. Take a shower. Get dressed. You're leaving. Now. What? Wait, Paul. I feel that they've got history. <gasps> that motel, it was the best thing that ever happened to me. And now you and your goddamn sons. <sighs> what we've done is unforgivable. I know. Tell that to Joyce. She lost a home. Her livelihood, mm. everything she worked for. You have to believe me. If I could turn back the clock... You didn't come here to apologize. I didn't know where else to go. Home the cops, Mexico. I think they've... Have they been in a relationship before? I don't know. How about home? Because you can't stay here. Are you crazy? They'll be watching the house. Yours is the last place anyone will look. Time was I used to dream of you showing up in my bed. Mm. But this... Yeah. Christ. Look at me. I've been living like a damn stray. Sleeping in ditches, eating from dumpsters. Last night, some hobo meth head tried to slice my belly with a box cutter. He does care. Oh, Jesus. Is it bad? Let me see. Don't worry, I can handle it. Sharon, you're all over the news. Didn't say nothing about Tyler, though. You say you lost him? Yeah, where is he? That damn bike. Cops were on our tails. He held him off. Told me to meet him at that old church out by Greenbell. Two nights I waited. Right. Don't know where he is, but after what he saw them do to Dale... My beautiful Dale. Mm. He'll stay one step ahead. I know he will. <laughs> Sorry. No mention of Jay. And Jay, he got away too, right? I don't know if he's got the strength to make it. I pray he does. For the love of God, please let him be okay. All this for a few thousand dollars. Mm. Just enough to stop those thugs killing us. All because of Bear. Yes. <laughs> we both had dreams once, remember? I was going to expand the bar, make it profitable. And what about that coast-to-coast -coast motorcycle trip you always said you were going to do? Is this how you saw your life turning out? <sighs> He's got a kitty cat. That's my business. No, it's terrible. Yes, it's perfectly fine. We have a cat. Well, uh, until a few days ago, yes. Me and Marlon, we were doing just fine. If a cat is all you have, then you ain't happy. Hey, he's a great cat. Yeah. You're lying to yourself, Paul. Even Marlon can see it. Why are you even here? Talking hypotheticals. You're a wanted woman. You gotta leave. Get out of town. I don't want him to fall for her words. You know, Bear always said he'd take me away from Two Rock. Dante loved me for a while, too. Sharon, back then, everyone loved you. You once told me I always choose the wrong guy. <laughs> well, I was young and stupid enough to think you'd listen. And I was young and stupid enough to think I knew better. Should have been with you from the start. Yeah, I knew they had history. Wasn't meant to be. I don't want him to, like, be all wistful and nostalgic. It's not the right time. It wouldn't have worked. Don't be so sure. You've always been a good friend. When those thugs showed up at our door, when I had no one else to turn to, you were the one who stepped up. Now, wait a minute. 
if you're talking about... You knew we were sinking. But coming up with the code to Dante's safe, that was... If, if I'd known what oh. would... Oh, Jesus, I'd never have given... Oh, God. Oh, hell. Oh, no. I think we could both use a drink. Don't you? He's involved more than I expected him to be. He said he was trying to be sober. I might refuse. Every part of me is screaming, yes. But if I taste one sip of that... Mm. Paul, I'm so sorry. That was... I should have known better. Yeah. Look, nobody knows your part in this. And I swear it'll stay that way. Really? But, and I If he does what she wants... This. I need your help. Yep, yeah, he's... It, 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 it does sound like blackmail. I don't want to say that, though. I don't want to set her off. I'm just going to play it cool. Why does that set alarm bells ringing in my mind? Jeez, you never used to be this paranoid. Those bells are already ringing. We could both end up in jail without lifting another finger. But there's a way out for us. That book of his? I looked a bit closer. It's not just bribes. Yeah. Dante's been taking money from criminals and funneling it into a single offshore account. <sighs> oh no. He doesn't want to get involved in this. The cash in his safe, that was just his cut. The real money's in a bank in Belize. And the oh. details are right here. They have got so much on him. No name, no ID. All a person's got to do is walk in, hand over the password, and walk out with the money. Mm. Can't be me. They catch one whiff of me and I'm locked up for life, but you. No way. No way. I don't want then him to get involved. Dante for what he is. Karma. Payback. Call it what you like. And by the time his world crumbles, we'll be long gone. I don't know. This isn't right. Look, you say us being together wasn't meant to be, but I say this is our chance to change that. I think she's you just... You can stay here in Two Rock mm -mm. and drink yourself into oblivion, or we can live together in paradise. You I don't do realize believe her. If we do this, we disappear. You'll never be able to see your boys again. That doesn't mean I can't help them. At some point, I'll find a way. You threw me a lifeline once. Now it's my turn. I don't Come know. With me. I don't trust her. Oh God, no! I'm not ready for such. No, I don't think. I don't think he should do it. I don't think so. Please, Paul, just listen to me. I've listened, but the answer is no. I can't do it. What if... Oh, no. Oh, God. Expecting anyone? Have I just sent no. him to... Hey, his... cuz, it's me. Open up. <gasps> Shit. Death. It's Dante. That's... They're cousins? Oh, no. This is so bad. This is so bad. <sighs> At least Jay's okay for the time being. <sighs> Fancy seeing you here. <laughs> nice disguise. You actually came. Did you tell anyone? You actually came. Well, you sounded like a lost puppy. <laughs> Can I come in? <sighs> I thought you wanted to sleep. I didn't want them to have to make the bed. Oh. I took $200 from my dad's emergency fund. I also brought you a change of clothes. Oh, and wow. tomorrow morning, I can drive you to the bus station and get you a ticket to wherever you want. That's and amazing. Then we're even. Okay? Even? You don't owe me anything. <laughs> oh, didn't I tell you? I'm pretty sure I aced my history final. <laughs> amazing. 
I'm just so happy that he has someone like her. I don't deserve this. I... Nobody's ever done something like this for me. I don't deserve it. Of course you do. Why? Look, if someone accused me of something I didn't do, my brother would have been right there in my corner. But when he was in trouble, I couldn't help him. So, if I can help you somehow, what's wrong? Yeah. It's just, if you hadn't come, I'd have nobody now. Can you go to your family? To your mom, maybe? Nope. She ain't my mom. And my brothers ain't my brothers. They told me the night I met you. My real mom was some aunt. I don't know who my dad was. Oh, Dean. That must feel terrible. Yeah, I feel lost. They betrayed me. I, no, it's not betrayal. They did try and look after him. Lost. I just don't even know who I am anymore. I wish they hadn't told me. Except mm. then, you'd be living a lie. Maybe from now on, family isn't the people you were born with. Maybe it's the people you choose. <laughs> I saw that on a t-shirt. <laughs> right. It's a good t-shirt. It is a good t-shirt. Mm -hmm. That's not your room. Like hell it's not. My daughter's in there. What? Oh my god. How did he find me? Oh no, are you kidding? My credit card that she needs to book this room. Now, open the door or I'm calling the police. Great. Fantastic. Dad? What are you doing? Who else is here? Did you fucking follow me? How did you- You think I don't get a fraud alert when someone uses my card out of state? Now, answer the question. What? What are you doing in a Salt Lake City hotel? It's none of your business. What are you doing? Oh, no. Meth? I don't mean... Dad, no. I'm freaking Vanessa, out. <laughs> do you want to turn out like your brother? Living a secret life? Lying all the time? Until some cold morning you're wheeled into a morgue? Oh, sure. Let's blame him for his death. He was hit by a drunk driver. At four in the morning. With enough shit in his system to kill him. You know what? No. I'm not doing this. You're coming home, and that's that. Well, can I at least pee first? Oh, do what you have to. <sighs> I feel bad for her. You know what? Is she going to get out the window? <sighs> She might leave. I think she'll just give him the money. Oh, I just made that. I wasn't quite ready. What are you doing? Hang on, is she what leaving? What does it look like I'm doing? What's going on in there? Oh, no Hurry. way. They're leaving? I feel very... You! I feel bad. I feel bad for her because this is just going to wreck everything with her father. I mean, he didn't seem Vanessa! like... Oh no. You're making a huge mistake! He never trusted her anyway. But it's still going to make things irreparable. We need to get out of here. You mean together? Well, I'm not just going to abandon you. Hmm. Know how to start a car without the key? You mean hotwire it? <laughs> uh, Dale showed me once. Oh, we could try. What? Uh, this is different, but I think it's these ones. Okay, I'll do my best. I always wondered if I'd, like, I would be able to do something like that. <gasps> didn't make it okay not those ones oh no no that's um the first time I've not made something come on come on yes <sighs> lucky Drive. 
it's so fascinating because I think to myself, what would happen if you didn't do it? Like, where would you go? What would happen in the story? It's just so replayable. <sighs> He's gonna be furious. He can't be. I don't think this is any. This is gonna sound crazy, but. I think my daughter just ran off with a fugitive. No way. There's, there's no coming back from that with him and Vanessa, her dad. Mm -mm. This is terrible. I don't like it. Thanks for taking over. I told you it's cool. I love driving. Hmm. I should have done this ages ago. Run away from home. Run away from home? Like forever? Is this. I'm not gonna say this is great, you know, but she is really happy though. I don't know. We should keep our eyes peeled. Your dad's gonna be looking for you. He didn't see the car. And it'll be a while before anyone reports it stolen. <sighs> she seems so happy and excited. So, you're really going to Canada? They got more protected lands than all 50 states combined, remember? I can fish, hike, live in the forest. Mm. Only thing is, how to get in. Well, my brother had a friend who moved to Idaho Falls. I bet he'd help us with gas money. Plus, he's really good with fake IDs. Idaho? What? That's a long way for you. I've got all weekend. We can stop in town for some clothes and call Todd from a payphone. Oh my god. I don't know. This is really bad for Vanessa. Could you hand me my cigarettes? I wish my mom had done this, spread her wings, before she couldn't anymore. What happened to her? Officially, the big C in her pancreas. The doctor said it was just bad luck. I say it's what happens when you spend your life doing what someone tells you instead of standing up for who you are. Your dad? He was tough on her? On all of us. I still can't believe he followed me to Utah. He's worried. It, it's true. He is just worried. He loves his daughter, but he does seem very controlling. He must care about you if he came all this way. No. He wants to be in control. Mm. He thinks I have the same shitty judgment my brother did. Do you? <laughs> I'm doing this, aren't I? <laughs> true. I'll tell you one thing. He must be flipping his fucking lid right now. His little girl stealing a car? With a fugitive. What's the worst thing you've ever done in your life? Um... Hmm... The burglary. Maybe we shouldn't just get hung up on that, like, all the time. Try and move on. Lie about myself? To someone I like? What was the lie? It doesn't matter. Who did you lie to? I said it doesn't matter. Well, just don't ever lie to me. <laughs> We've told her the truth so far. Which is good. Your brother's friend. Huh? Do you really think he'll help me? <laughs> I never said he'd help you. But um, he'll help me. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy. I'm happy for Jay. If it all works out, 160 miles to Idaho. <gasps> oh no. I said open up. If he finds me, we're both fucked. Tell him to go away. Stall him. Anything. Come back later. I'm sick. Just a minute. If I say nothing, he may break in. 
Be right there. Hurry up and stop playing with yourself. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, what do I do? Hide. Oh, God, I've only got... I've only got a few minutes. Not even minutes, just... What, 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 what? Hide the glasses, yes. Hey, waiting out here like a prick. Get your pants on, I'm coming in. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Sorry. Hi, I, uh... <laughs> what's with the kitty bike out front? Yeah. Just fixing it up for Joyce's kid. Not much, but after what he's been through... That's nice. Right. Got some of your stuff they say from the fire. Tools and whatnot. I thought you might need them. Uh, thanks. Jeez. <laughs> it's darker than a dungeon in here. Look, uh, didn't mean for that to become such a clusterfuck. Holtz opened a big can of worms when they stole from me. If I don't get everything back, well, I'm just as screwed as they are. Yeah. So, you got any uh, plans now that the motel's gone? Or are you just gonna shut yourself away forever like Grandma did? Uh, vacation, no plans. Bank heist. Find a new job. Take a vacation. That may be a good excuse. Might take a uh, take a trip, see the world, live a little, you know. Oh, he looks so fake. Yeah. Like he's lying. Live a little, huh? <laughs> well, if I weren't in the middle of this shit storm from hell, I'd be on the next greyhound behind you. Oh, yeah. oh look at this little man eater. If my aunt please <laughs> gets a whiff of you, oh boy, me will be in the doghouse, huh? Hmm. Oh. Well, you look like I feel. <laughs> uh, bet we could both use a coffee, right? Uh -huh. Let's Sit go on. out. I get it. No, let's go out to a dino. When I first joined the department, <laughs> Sheriff Wilson assigned me coffee duty. <laughs> oh, God, no. I make a pot every morning. Oh, that guy was fucking picky. Sharon is right there in the next room. <gasps> yeah. Back then, I believed it was about making a difference. But being a good guy ain't always so simple. Because when you got some crazy asshole and you can't tell if he's holding a Bible or a gun, what do you do? Hmm? Mm. Should I... Where's that... Wait. Hang on. I can't find... Answer question. I thought I was looking Go for, like, the ashtray. That's all anyone can do. Well, like I always say, I'd rather wind up standing in a courtroom than lying in a coffin. Or better yet... Everyone just get the fuck out of my ass and let me do my job. I thought I was meant to be looking for the ashtray in that scene. I couldn't... See, it's so, just there. Little birdie I told me couldn't find you were it before. at the station earlier. You talking to those fellas from the DA's office? Just, you know, asking what I could remember about... Uh, about the motel and all that stuff with the, with the bus. They wanted your opinion on whether I'd lost my <laughs> damn mind, didn't they? It was a lot of questions. I, I can't... Uh -huh. And what was your professional opinion? That you're completely sane and a great uh, person. <laughs> I definitely just want to be very, very, very agreeable. I said you did what you had to do. I did what any cop would do. Protect lives. I made a tactical decision. 
<laughs> Those bastards were about to head to Mexico with a bus full of hostages. I fucking did something. Stay away, lady. Now the whole thing's turned into a pissing match over jurisdiction. Goddamn FBI involved. Even Becky hates my guts. Give those whole boys their blessing when they broke into my house. You know that? Oh. Hell, I'd do my best by her, but I guess it'll never be enough. Hmm? Oh, no. See, oh, I... You smoke menthols? I couldn't... I couldn't see it before. I'm trying to quit. You know how hard it is, though. Yeah. Well, once you let a bad thing get its hooks into you, it'll never let go. <sighs> Shut up, cat. No, not the cat. Oh, no. Say, I never thanked you for getting me a discount on that office I'm safe. I'm so scared. It's the same model they put in the rooms at the motel, right? That's right. Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> After those old boys broke in, I, uh, I found a slip of paper with some numbers on it. Now, how do you think they knew about that factory override? Oh, no. A lucky guess. You think it's me. You're not pointing the finger at me, are you? Dante, we're family. Oh, sure. Blood's thicker than water. Yeah, but one thing's for sure. Wherever Sharon Holt is, she ain't sipping margaritas on some tropical beach. <laughs> nope. In fact, I don't think she got too far at all. Oh, my God, he knows. You know, I forgot how close you two used to be. I seen as we're family. I'm gonna make this real easy for you. Where is she? <gasps> Do I? Oh my god. I don't know. I don't know. If I said she's gone, he's gonna search the she's... house anyway. She's in the... He would have searched anyway. This is gonna end you in someone's death. You ain't going anywhere. Oh, I feel so bad. <sighs> I'm taking you in to answer for what you've done. You and me both know that's not why you're taking me in. No. Nuh-uh. Oh, no. Don't even start down that road. Paul, come with me. It's not too late. No way. I don't want to... Gave me that safe. The same model you put in the motel rooms. Factory code. Oh no. Where's my book? You have it. I know you do. Oh, this is and you ain't getting it. This is I bad. Don't. I'm finished. Don't worry. I'll make sure all the major newspapers get a copy as soon as I've emptied the account. These people, you don't know who you're dealing with. Oh no. Don't you understand? It's not my money! Paul, how could you do this to me? I've wrecked it. I've wrecked it for him. I've wrecked it for him, but I thought if I didn't say that she was there, he would have looked anyway, and then we're, we're lying, we're still lying. She'll give you the book. We can do a deal, right? Let us go. We won't tell no one about the money. What? Paul, it ain't over yet. We can make it. You'll never get this book. I know she made you do oh this, my Paul. Oh, God. Look, I'm giving you a get out of jail card here. It's gonna be a choice. Who do I go with? After do... Nam, I swore yep. I'd never hold one again. Who do I kick the gun and to? You know that. Don't give me that flower power crap. Just give me the gun. If you listen to him, you're a fool. He'll put us both away. Okay, I'm going to explain my reasoning for telling Dante about Sharon. I think that 
if I had have said she's gone, he put he would have put two and two together with the cigarettes. I couldn't find them when I was looking around. I think he was suspicious from the get-go. He would have found her there and then he would have known that I was hiding Sharon. The problem is I said that Sharon was there and now not only have I only betrayed Dante, I've betrayed Sharon as well. So now Paul is stuck in the middle, having lied and betrayed both people. I don't want to think that Dante will arrest Paul and he'll go to jail, but it is kind of likely. If I help Sharon, look, I don't know, I'm worried about the cat too, I'm worried about Marlin. I'm just worried because this has put Paul in the middle of a huge mess because Dante knows where the safe code came from, it was from Paul. I don't know if I see a really good outcome here for Paul. I guess something that I'm also thinking of is if I help Dante, where does that leave Paul? I, I do feel that it could end up in his arrest as well or something bad happening to him because Dante knows about the safe code. So that is just going to be terrible, but helping Sharon? It may end up in Dante's death because we're going to give the gun to Sharon and she may actually even shoot him. I'm curious though if we do help. I don't want him to get arrested. Oh damn! Oh I thought they were going to shoot him. Let's go! What about the cat? No, the cat. Hurry! I know! The cat! Oh. Yes! We've got the cat! Come on! Come on! Great, we've got oh, the cat. That's fuck. all I care about. We've got the cat. Let's go. Oh no. The engine one way. Stop the engine. Drive. We're gonna Just run him it. over. Step on it. He'll die. Oh shit. <sighs> oh my god. No, this is bad. Hey, Sheriff. Your whole boy turned up in Utah with some girl and so. FBI are in pursuit. Out. Damn, later that night. Oh, with Jay. Oh my gosh, I hope that was the right thing to do with Paul. This shirt. You sure we fit in? Well, it's all we can find. Oh, look at that. That duck. The duck DJ. Oh, this is my idea of a nightmare, honestly. Excuse me. Have you seen Todd? He said he'll be back in an hour. Todd was pissed when his parents wanted him to die to That his dad had family here, they have all kinds of money, so... This isn't good. There's too many people. Mm. Yeah, I don't like it. Clover? What is it? It's for headaches. I think it's ecstasy. Have you done it? No. Have you? No, but my dad already thinks I'm a drug fiend. No. So what the fuck? Don't do that. Don't. Oh, man. Great. No, I'm not doing it. Not for me. Thanks. One of us needs to be thinking straight. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Oh, I just, I want to get out of here. Oh, he looks so bored, that guy. Oh, just go, just leave. Wait outside for that Todd fellow. This 
is crazy. Just leave. Dean, I feel so good right now. Like a feather with legs. Can't stay here. Maybe I'll just agree. Glad you're having so much fun. This is the absolute best I have ever felt in my whole entire life. We should take some pills with us for the road. No. Uh, maybe. Just throw them out. I'm gonna go get a soda. Okay. <sighs> Oh, this is just terrible. This is terrible. This is terrible. Oh, God. No, everyone is too... too wasted to even recognize him. Don't worry about it. Turn it off. He's gonna have to change his hair, like cut his hair. Bleach it or something. Oh no, where is she? This is stupid. You're the last person I expected to show up asking for. <gasps> oh, that's Todd. Surprises. Walk in, wait outside. I don't want to barge in, I'll just wait. Look, will you help me or not? What will you give me for it? Oh man, you are so freaking tall from down here. Right. What are you looking at? Dean, what are you doing? You know this guy? So what if I do? What if he recognizes him? I'm a friend, boyfriend. I don't want to say boyfriend. Just friend. We go to school together in Arizona. Well, whoop de doo doo fucking do. Or get out of my room or get out of the party. Dean, please. I'm all right. What is... What are they going to do? Buddy, she's asking you to leave. Sorry if that hurt your feelings or something, but it's what she wants. Oh, no. You get sport. Can't win them all. Is he going to... I'm worried that leaving Vanessa in there, this Todd guy is going to take advantage of her as payment for the ID. I just wish that this just wasn't so drastic, like hit him is just going to cause so much drama, especially with that stuff on the TV down there. I don't know if Todd is going to do anything to Vanessa in there, but I don't, I don't think I want to hit him as well. They, they make these choices so hard. I think I'm just going to leave them. I need to have some faith in people, I guess, at some point. I'll be at the car. <laughs> at least he's not in there anymore. He's outside. It's awful in there. Still feel amazing? Dean, why did you follow me? I had that. You said he was your brother's friend. He was. But we also went out a few times. I didn't tell you because... I don't know. I just didn't. I wasn't even into him. But you wanted to be alone with him. So I could get him to help us. Which, admittedly, he didn't. Right. But I did snag this. Money. <laughs> right. So did the two of you... Did you... <laughs> Wait, are you jealous? <laughs> I'm just worried more about you. Ah, yes or no? Would she like it if... 
I'm just gonna say yes. A little. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Dean, that's sweet. But don't be. I asked him to find an old photo of my brother. And when he wasn't looking, I stole some cash. That's all. What about the fake ID okay. stuff? Well, he won't help with that. He wanted too much. Yeah. Yes. How much? A blowjob. Mm. Just forget about it, okay? Mm. He's a fucking asshole. But he's not worth it. Yeah. Good. I'm glad. I'm so glad. Let him get away with it or teach him a lesson. Oh my god. I'm so passive. I'd probably just let him get away with it. Nothing happened between them. This is another crossroads situation. I'm feeling that if I teach him a lesson, Jay is probably going to maybe break hit the windows. Like this house is just full of windows. And that could actually have bad repercussions let him get away with it but that just sounds like so bad it feels like it, it's my it's my fault if anything happens in the future just deal with it forget it i wish you'd told me the truth maybe i should have look i saw a campsite off the highway i still feel pretty good how about we go have our own after party yeah. All right. At least they're not there anymore. There's a camera in the out, at the front too. I'm glad I didn't do anything. Tent? <laughs> I don't think so. Idaho, huh? And I thought it was all potato farms. <laughs> Something, ain't it? You're not like the guys at school. And the football players, and the athletes, the future farmers of America. You're different. I don't know. You're mm -hmm. real somehow. Not trying to be. He's just being himself. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but when I look at you, I, I just feel happy, safe. I trust you, Dean. Deep. <laughs> he needs to come clean. <gasps> Another crossroad choice. She did say, don't lie to me. She did say that, but how long can we keep up with this charade? Because she's going to find out sooner or later. I think it's better to tell her now than just let it go on. Look, I need to tell you something. My name's not Dean. It's Jay. Okay. <laughs> and that house I said we robbed? It was Sheriff Romero's. Huh? I didn't know that till we got there. But Sheriff came home, we ran, got holed up at this motel and... Route 66. Oh, one of them. The family from the news. I didn't want to be there. It wasn't my idea. But the cops don't care about that. They're blaming me for all of it. Uh. Are you angry? It's... It's just... A what? Mm. Why did you tell me? Like you said, you trust me. Mm. And 
I trust you too. More than I trust anyone. Sorry, I... I don't know why I did that. Oh, kiss her back, stay as friends. Let's kiss her. Don't be sorry. Okay. That was nice. <sighs> Real nice. Maybe we can do it again when we get to Canada. Wait. We? What? You thought I was going to miss out on all that maple syrup? I'm coming with you. Wow. You can't. Didn't you hear what I said? I'm wanted by the FBI. Dean? Or Jay, <laughs> I guess. Jay. I haven't had a life in Two Rock since the day my brother died. Mm. My dad's like this prison guard whose mm. job is making sure I never make a friend, never take a risk. Every single week, I think I should just run the fuck away. And this is Instead, her chance. I sit around in that stupid uniform helping Mima waiting for permission. Mm. Well, you know what? I don't need permission. This is my chance to become someone new. Do you not want me to come? Oh my gosh. I I do, I do. Of course I do. But are you sure? You're gonna learn something. I can be really stubborn. Okay. Then let's go to Canada. Then let's go to Canada. <laughs> I like that. I think I'm really so, happy with that. Jay, huh? Yeah, like a blue jay. Yeah. It's nice. What's your last name? Holt. Holtz have been in Two Rock over 150 years. Sounds like you're proud to be part of that. Hmm. Ready to let go. I think, yeah, definitely ready to let go. I was. But that's over now. It's like you said. I make my own choices from here on out. Now, I'm finally free. Yeah. All units, be advised. Teenagers seen at 1281 Elmfield this oh, evening. No. The same one being pursued by the FBI. Consider him armed and dangerous. Oh, no. Great. Oh my goodness. All right, the summary for this chapter. I value peace. Seeks calm and avoids confrontation. Always trait kind. Seeks to comfort and reassure others. Play style analyst. Takes time to consider their options. Yes, I absolutely do. That was amazing. I really feel good and happy about the outcome with Paul and Sharon especially as they've taken the cat Marlin that has just made my day Jay and Vanessa I really like them though I am concerned about her and her future being with Jay I mean both on the run Jay is on the run I just feel that it's going to be not a very calm or peaceful life for Vanessa and she's just left everything behind oh so we're on the run 78 percent uh deputy entered bar 78 percent escaped 72 percent dropped in Utah by trucker only 23 percent okay Vanessa arrived at the motel escaped Refused drugs, most people, 64%. Walked away, 65%. Okay, that is a good outcome. Ditched party with Vanessa, 45%. Vanessa kissed Jay, 45%. Oh, wow. Agreed to Vanessa coming to Canada, only 37%. Rejected, being a halt, 78%. Vanessa stayed as a lover, only... 40% okay that's um low <laughs> it's lower than what I would imagine stayed sober 65% excellent 
Rejected Sharon, only 42%. Well, I, I accepted her in the end, though, didn't I? What else do we have here? Dante noticed the cigarette. Yeah, that was... That was my fault. That was my fault. I couldn't find it. Gave Sharon away only 14%. Oh my God. Dante attacked by Sharon 14%. Helped Sharon. Most people did. Rented the car 61%. Escape with Sharon 60%. Some of those choices are very low. And some are quite high, so I'm, I'm a little bit mixed in this chapter. But I am ready for the next chapter and the final chapter. I'm so excited. Let's go. Ah, with Zoe. Oh, she still has so much trauma. not really happening a minute 55 her motivation for doing that is it just about escaping forget something hmm? <laughs> thanks aren't you in the undergraduate journalism program I haven't seen you in a while uh yeah I haven't been coming to lectures much hmm. not really feeling it oh Right. Look, that thing you were doing in the water. Can I ask what it's about? Holding your breath like that? Mm. Some people meditate. I sink to the bottom of the pool. One of these days, I'm going to get to two minutes. <laughs> wow, that sounds intense. Why do you do it? Hmm, sense of control. Challenging myself is where I feel okay. Maybe it is about control. Down there, the only person looking out for me is me. So I've got to step up and take control of myself. Hmm. Sounds kind of lonely. Maybe I like it that way. I should be getting home. Hmm. Okay, Look, makes sense. It's just. Yeah. So I had a friend in middle school. She was like infuriatingly perfect, top of the class captain of the soccer team and one day we're all on this field trip and boom she disappears gone is that we eventually find her in the bath oh i just know she'd have felt better if she knew there was someone ready to listen <sighs> mm. I'm very curious about this middle choice. I just saw someone. D did you just see that? The guy in the hoodie? I she don't was, see anyone. She was facing away. In mysterious ways. <laughs> Is that? Did, did she 
keep seeing J everywhere. Like who who was that? I hope that we can get a good outcome for Zoe. I'm not feeling positive. Oh wait, we're actually going. Oh wow. 14 years earlier. Okay. I think that eventually so, I Jay and Mima. Zoe's paths will what? cross. When we were changing the license plate, I called to check on her. Did you tell her any? No, no, I just wanted to hear her voice. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Okay, I hope sure I've made the right decision here. I'm hiking over the border? <laughs> I hate hiking. But, hey, guess it's time to be flexible. I'm gonna be a wanted criminal now. Mm -hmm. You're not a criminal. You're just helping a friend. Well... Did you watch the O.J. trial? <laughs> the what? <laughs> O.J. Simpson? All-American football player accused of murdering his wife because she's screwing some waiter? I don't really watch TV. Huh. Well, the point is, nobody's what they seem, you know? Like, huh? what are we capable of? Are we all just killers waiting for our switches to get flipped? Wow. Never thought of it like that. Uh, I'm gonna say not at all. What about kindness? <laughs> We're capable of that, right? See? The world needs more people like you. Hmm. Yes. More That's on the such an hunt interesting for the Desert Dream perspective. Killers, who first robbed the Two Rock County Sheriff's house, then took shelter at a motel that turned into the scene of a. Let's not listen to them. Wait, was that you? Yeah, but I don't want to hear. I do. Describe Jay Holt as an awkward, quiet high school dropout. <laughs> uh, they say like dropping out's a crime. Halt also has an accomplice, 16-year-old Vanessa Dorland, no. who is assumed to be armed and dangerous. If you see either of these violent criminals, uh, violent. please call 911 and make... Violent. Oh my god. Oh my god, I feel that we have ruined her life here. Let's make a joke. Did he say awkward? Is it true? Am I awkward? Life's awkward. We're all awkward. But me especially, huh? <laughs> In a good way. <laughs> uh, I feel I've ruined things for Vanessa. We shouldn't have agreed for her to come along. She had a bright future and that's, that's on me. It's on me. Oh no. Oh my god, what do we do? Shit. It looks awkward, we can't okay. leave. Don't stress. We'll figure this out. We don't have ID. Nothing. Morning, you two. Everything okay, officer? Just running a sobriety checkpoint here, looking for any intoxicated drivers coming back from that River Palooza music festival. Were you there? No, sir. We we're just passing through. Can I ask where you're coming from? Uh Arizona, that's where we're from. Hang on, what plates were on the car? What plates? What plates they put on the car? I don't know. We were in Salt Lake City. We're on a field trip for our, with our church. <laughs> church. Which church is that? Oh uh, God, no. LDS. You know the Book of Mormon. Uh huh. Anyway, if I could just see your license and registration, you'll be on your way. I don't have one. 
Oh, this is terrible. What if I just check the glove box? And then I can just lie later on. <laughs> sure. Just a sec. Uh, where is it? Oh, God. Well, it's against the law to drive in Montana without a valid driver's license. I'm really sorry, officer. I'll need to run the plates. Oh, are you joking? This sucks. Dispatch, need you to run some plates for me. Montana, three, Papa, two, one, five, seven, Tango. Shit. He's gonna find out any second. Mm-hmm. What, again? Well, can't you run it manually? It's broken. We need to get out of here. It's broken. <gasps> Peel out or wait for the cop. Look, I feel that the machine is broken. So we have a chance. The guy said, can't you run it manually? He may say, nah, can't be bothered doing that, mate. So there is a chance. I think peeling out is the wrong thing to do, but I did notice a truck behind Jay. What if behind Jay is that guy that gave us the lift that time and he helps? So um, I can go either way right now. I'm going to go for my instinct and wait for the cop because I think the license checking machine is broken. Please, 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 please. Look, I can explain. <sighs> Goddamn database is down again. Yes. There's a sneak peek of Y2K for you. Yes. All right. I'm going to let you off with a warning. Next time, bring your license along for the ride. I will, officer. Mm, great, so lucky. Go on, get out of here. So lucky. He would be crapping his pants. <laughs> That's amazing, amazing. Good. Good, good, good. 14 years later, so this is back with Zoe. Pumpkin. Hey, Dad. You, um, working late? Yep. Boss just dumped another mountain of overtime on me. <laughs> ah, same old, same old. So, um, you okay? It was my birthday on Sunday, and you usually call. Oh, Dad. I'm sorry. It's just... The thing is, I... Don't tell me. Lectures coming out of your ears. I get it. <laughs> so how about your mom and I drop by campus tomorrow for lunch? That might be... tricky. Why? Everything's cool at school, right? Oh, I might drop out? Sure. I'm gonna be honest with him. If that's really what she's thinking. To be honest, Dad, I'm not sure the program's right for me. What are you saying? You're dropping out? You've been wanting to study journalism since the ninth grade. No, just weighing my options, that's all. Dropping out? Is that Zoe? Relax, honey, she isn't dropping out. Mm -hmm. You bet your pants she isn't. Not without talking to us first. Oh, who's that from? Zoe? Sorry, Mom. I gotta go. Oh, she just puts it away? Who are those letters from? She's got so many things I want to know about. Don't speak. Don't make a sound. <gasps> Their paths are gonna cross, aren't they? She just doesn't stop thinking about Shit. Jay and what happened. Mm. <sighs> Where is the other bottle? I 
Uh, where's the other bottle? Bedside table. Search the drawer. Not there. Huh? What? She's just... What is that? That's, um... She's just... Thinking of things. Like, things that aren't... Really happening. Turn off that drip. Huh. Turn on the light. Oh, of course. The bus. Yeah. Wow. Oh, that's bad. And Jesus. you know what? I saw an apron in her kitchen that had like Holt Butchers on it. It's terrible. Tell me I'm awake this time. Come on. Right. I think. Where did you put them? All right. Well, I'm tempted to look in that drawer again just to make sure. God. That's not really happening. It's not happening. Who's there? Stay inside. Check the hallway. I'm gonna check. joke it's not funny I don't think anyone's there it's just her imagination lock the door did you lock the door oh no I don't think she locked uh, the door hey grandpa Zoe. I know it's late but I, I could use a friendly ear right now do you He's still mind alive <laughs> What? What kind of situation? It's 2 a.m. Mr. Walker! I'll be there in 10. What's happening? She's going to her grandpa's house at 2 a.m.? It's like I told you, I can't have tenants damaging the building. And I told you, I oh. didn't damage a damn thing. Mr. Walker, I really don't want to get into another argument. Oh. Hey there, Zussi, old boy. <gasps> Zoe, thank God you're here. Oh, yeah. Please tell this woman I have a right to the quiet enjoyment of my own home. Huh. Quiet enjoyment? You vandalized your front door. Okay, slow down. What happened? What's Somebody he done? broke in and stole my wallet. Uh, no. Hmm. You misplaced your wallet and you broke your own front door. Zoe, someone was here. I saw him lurking in the shadows. We saw something too. What did he look like? What else did he take? Did he hurt you? Mm. Did you get a good look at him? Was he wearing a black hoodie? Oh, uh, uh maybe. It's I, not the I, same I person. I think remember. whatever Zoe's don't remember seeing is in her happen. imagination. Hmm. I'll tell you what did. Your grandfather wandered outside in his robe for the third time this month. When he realized he didn't have his keys, he broke the door to get back in. That mm. is not true. I wanted some air, so I, I took a walk and, uh, and I, I saw someone. And, oh, uh, I, I, I. And then no, the no, next no, thing no. I know, I'm arguing with, with Shelby here. That's not even my name. Oh, yeah. okay. So okay. I know this is painful to hear. But your grandfather is declining. He needs a nurse or an assisted living oh, home. Oh, God or... damn it. I don't mm. need assisted anything. 
We obviously have very different interpretations of what happened. Still, somebody will have to pay for that door. <sighs> we'll pay, insurance can pay, just let him be. Uh, she won't agree to that. We'll just, we'll just deal with it. Send us the bill. Huh? I'll make sure it gets paid for. <sighs> Thank you. I appreciate that. Just move on. Please get him help. He doesn't want help. It's impossible if someone doesn't want it. It's so difficult. A conspiracy to extort money from a vulnerable old man. That's what this is. Mm. Can you believe that woman? Assisted living. Mm. <laughs> she sounds just like your parents with that crap. Maybe she has a Don't point. Don't tell Shelby. But I know I didn't break my door because I keep a spare key under the mat. You do? Isn't that kind of unsafe? Just you want to hide something where no one will find it? Stick it right under their noses. <laughs> How are you doing, kiddo? Anything new? Mm, yes, it's getting Me? worse. I'm fine. Oh, you don't look fine. You look like you did back in high school when you thought you could cram for finals by staying up all night on triple lot. <laughs> How you been sleeping? Having nightmares. I'll be honest with him. Didn't have a bad night for months. Until the nightmares started creeping back. Now, I'm scared to fall asleep. Oh, Zoe. You seem to be doing so well. Did something happen? It doesn't matter. Oh. Seriously. So, what else? Still got your sights on the New York Times? Actually, I'm thinking of leaving school for a while. I told Mom and Dad. You can imagine how that went down. <laughs> Not well. Like the Titanic, you <laughs> expect. I always thought it suited you, the investigative journalism thing. Digging around in other people's business, telling the world how it really is. I don't know, Grandpa. I just want to wake up on a beach somewhere. No one around. Walk out into the ocean. And disappear under the waves. Mm. No, you don't. Take him on someone who's been a pro at running away. Wherever you run, your problems run after you. Yes. Mm. Hang on. Where's my tablet computery thing? Oh no. Oh, Has that no been problems. stolen as well? Bastards. <laughs> I got that for my 74th. Mind if I look around a little? Maybe I can figure out who stole your stuff. Be my guest. It's not stolen, he's probably just misplaced it. But that's okay. A broken door, sofa, TV stand, shelf. All books, medical books. Is this all from when you were a traveling salesman? Salesman? Yeah, you told me you used to. Wasn't that your job? Kid, back then you could say I was a jack of all trades. I think the only real job I ever had was convincing people I was someone else. Is that his wallet? That's his wallet. And we found his wallet. So now we just need to find uh, his computery thing. So, you're still going to the pool? I spend so much time there, I'm growing fins. Hmm. <laughs> hey, go car. Was this yours? <laughs> Freeloader. Once upon a time. His license plate. Drove that puppy all around the country. Why'd you get rid of it? Oh, you know, couldn't afford the upkeep. Right, so it's not there. Uh, it could be down the back of the TV sofa, of, of the sofa. Just check the TV stand. Grandpa, are you taking your meds? I don't like them. They make me fussy. Right. No, respect his wishes. Insist. 
I don't know. He's very stubborn. Okay, it's your body. Sometimes it's best to just leave it. Grandpa? Are you sure you didn't break the door yourself? God. Yeah, that's his wallet. How can I be sure of something I can't remember? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Have you never gone into a room, forgotten why you came in? Haven't you ever misplaced or lost something? You know I've lost plenty. I don't want to lose you too. Yeah, Shelby's he, right. He needs help. It's getting worse. Places, dates, the school I went to. Mm. It's like someone's slowly packing my memories into boxes mm. and none of them have labels on. That's scary. Can you imagine how that feels? Mm. You know what? For her, it would be a relief, but it's not about her right now. It's about Jim, so it would be terrible. Sounds awful. I can't even begin to. <sighs> you must think I made this whole damn mess up. Actually, someone's been following me too, I think. What? Earlier at the pool. I don't know if it's and real. And then tonight at my apartment, I, I thought I saw someone. I don't know, I don't know. But I don't know if it's even real. Mm. I feel like we're both losing our minds. Good God. I don't think Zoe, it is look, real. I know you went through hell as a kid, seeing all the terrible, terrible things you saw. And I know you sometimes think it drove you half crazy. It has. Seriously. You don't need to remind me. I know I don't. But that's what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. I don't think you are crazy at all. Because if you were, how could we both be seeing the same thing? Do you Grandpa? think it is Jay? Either we're both losing our marbles. Why would or... he be doing this? Or what? No. It's impossible. Why? Why? <coughs> It has, it is real then, it's real. Hey, I see you. That's Jay. Huh? Isn't it? Stop! Why are you following me? What do you want? We need to catch him. Please, please, please. Come on, Zoe, you can do this. Don't speak. Don't make a sound. Damn. Stop! Stop, I said! Get the fuck off me! I'm oh! Sorry. I thought you were. Oh! That's not Jay? I could have sworn, okay, it's not real. None of this is real. That's not Jay. Oh, sweetheart. Oh, she's it's okay. doing I'm terribly. Here. I was fine. I was fucking fine. And then one little trigger and bam, it all came roaring back again. Oh, the two yeah. of us, me trying to remember you, trying to forget. Mm -hmm. I don't want to forget. I just want to not care. How do I do that? Mm. How do I make the past leave me alone when I keep seeing it everywhere I go? I guess you just need to stand up and face it. Hmm. What could be the step to do that? Maybe opening those boxes or oh, the, the, the letters that she's been putting in her room? Look it in the eye and 
See this thing for yep. what it is. The letters, the letters. All oh, those letters. If the past talks to you, you listen. My who's? Is that? Who wrote that? And when it's done, then maybe you'll be free. Please write back from Jay. It is him, but it, it's, I don't think it's him um, following her, but he's writing those, he's writing letters to her. Why? Maybe he's just trying to make amends. I wish I had another layer on. It's gonna be beautiful once we get some altitude. What's the furthest you've ever hiked? I did the two rocks of two rock once. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh, it was hard. Come on, we got a lot of ground to cover. Hmm. I'm just so curious why he's contacting Zoe. Tell your secret? All that time. I've never left Arizona before. Tell me when I'm not about to collapse. I promise I'll care. <laughs> Here. Whoa. Oh, wasn't ready. <laughs> I don't want to let it fall. You'd be going a lot faster without me. I'd be going nowhere without you. Hmm. Yeah, exactly. Give me your hands. Uh, teamwork. <laughs> I don't get it. I'm cold and wet. My legs hurt like I've been in double gym all week. And you're the energizer bunny, just <laughs> going and going. How do you do it? Can't stop now. Experience comes naturally. Mm, I, I, I don't know. All of them. I don't think about it. Besides, it's not like I got a home to go back to. You know what? I'm getting a second wind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm feeling positive for these two. I am worried. My God. Though. It's even more beautiful than I imagined. <laughs> Sometimes at home, around sunset, me and my mom used to walk out into the desert. And on a hot day, if there was enough haze, the sun would just bloom like a giant fireball on the horizon. Yeah, that was would it be better than this? Beautiful. Just different company. Yeah, with her mom. Hmm. Hey, you're bleeding. Oh, shit. I didn't even feel this happen. Let me see. It's just a little, a little scratch. It should be fine. There, that's better. I'm glad you know what you're doing. So, how do we get over the border? We're gonna have to swim. Won't it be cold? Freezing, swim. probably. But it's good for you. Wakes you up. Way better than coffee. All right. Ah, uh, I just, oh. like, what's gonna happen in their future? What are they gonna do? Hang on, what? Get down. Uh. Vanessa? Are you there? It's me. It's Dad. Are you serious? This is not Dad? possible. What are you doing here? What? Do you know? Do you have any idea who you run away with? His name's Jay. I know all about what happened at the motel, and honestly, I don't care. Vanessa, what the hell? this is right. How did he find us? I don't know. If you know who he is, then you know he's a murderer. He killed cops, Vanessa. He's going to death row. I... You have no idea what you're talking about. Oh my god. Stay out of it. I've chosen that before in the past and it's worked. You don't know him like I do. He didn't do it. How about you let a jury decide? 
and come on home. How could it's he never happen them? in Dad? That part of my life is over. <gasps> She's not gonna turn on him. No. We stick with plan A. Jay Holt, you are under arrest on the authority oh, of the no. FBI. I'll admit, you nearly gave us a slip. No. That ranger in the entry kiosk earned his paycheck today. Now I got a whole team of federal agents here, so this is where it ends, Jay. I'm not letting you people send me to die. I have a clear shot on the suspect. <gasps> oh my god, this is bad. This is not what I wanted. What do I do? This sucks. It's over. It's over. Gotta run. Come on. Run? They'll just shoot. Let's go, let's go. I don't think there's a way out of this. There's not, there's not. Come on. This is bad. I shouldn't have taken Vanessa go, with me. Go. I have so many regrets. No. It's over. It's done. Quick, in here. No, that that just They've just run straight past? The dad has a gun? Oh my god. I don't want to hurt her dad. No, they've got no chance. They've got no chance here. What? Going to jump all that way? There's probably rocks. Rocks below. No, please. What do we do now? Orders down there. Past the lake. We gotta jump. Off this? Mm. Vanessa! Wait! Stay back, Dad! You jump, you die. You'll never make it. We might. You don't know. Vanessa, whatever you think about me, you were my little girl once. Slept on my chest, walked on my feet. When is the last time you said you loved me? I'll give you a clue. It was never. Okay. Mm. I'm bad at saying it. I'm bad at a lot. After your mom died, I didn't know how to. Mm. I'd say left, you kids would go right. The more I tried, the more you both hated me. And then Matt went off the rails, and I... I know you think I'm a monster. But I do love you, Vanessa. If you say we can survive this, then I believe you. But let's just do it before I change my mind. What do I do? My first instinct, like, I don't want to jump off this thing. I feel that this is a death sentence. But also, oh god, I'm so torn. I really like Vanessa, but I feel incredibly guilty that I have dragged her into this mess, this situation. She's a, she's on the run now. She's on the run and I have no idea. I'm just so surprised that they found them. I thought we were in the clear, ready to go. I also feel that we've come this far as well. I mean, we've come this far to just jump without her. I don't know. I don't, I'm just gonna do it. Jump together. All right then. One, three. One. Oh my god. Two. Wait. Dad. Yeah, honey. Tell Mima there's an extra pack of cigarettes under the sink. No, Vanessa, don't. No. My god. Ah! That is crazy. I just... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh man. Oh man. Oh, Zoe's got those letters? 
All okay, honey. Dad and I are worried about you. Call us. You sure this is the spot? It's not on the trail map. I'm good. Thank you. She's... 14 years later. Hang on. She's in Canada? She's meeting up with Jay. Oh my god. That's... That's Jay's cabin. He lives there. He's probably built it all by himself. What? This is... This is Whoa, nuts. Whoa, easy. Roosevelt. What's got into you? Roosevelt. Huh. What? Don't speak. Don't make a sound. <sighs> My God. Zoe. Hi, Jay. I wasn't even sure you got the letters. Oh. One a month, ever since March. You know you're still wanted by the FBI, right? How'd you even find me? The post office. I had your P.O. box number, and they helped me with the rest. People are nice here. Hmm. Yeah, they are. You look so different. I knew you'd grown up, but... In my mind, you're still that scared little kid. Yes. I'm not going to say not scared anymore because it's obvious that she's still affected. You've changed too. You look older too. Huh. More than I expected. Well, 14 years outside will do that to you. Hey, mm. come sit down. I got a chair on the patio and... I promise, you won't need that pepper spray. <laughs> yep. Wow. Huh. <sighs> <sighs> Nice view. I used to think so. I've seen it a lot. It's so strange that you're here. Thought about you and your family so much over the years. So you said. In your letters. I tried not to think about yours. I was doing pretty good at that. Until you started writing. Yeah, okay. Oh. So that, Is that brought everything back. The one you ran away with? No. No, she's gone. She's gone? I have a lot of what questions. What happened? What happened? Your life and... Go for it. I don't have anywhere to be. What happened with Vanessa? Oh, God, I want to ask everything. But I'm so curious, mostly about... What if she died in the jump? Her name was Vanessa, right? <gasps> Oh, Can no. I ask what happened? Oh, no. We spent six years together. Me and her. Slept outside when it was warm. Used to read books to each other by the fire. <laughs> but in the end, uh, oh. I guess she missed normal life. I think she's in California now. Whoa. I'm just grateful for the time we had. She just... She just left. How did you survive the jump? You know, the world thought you were dead after you jumped off that cliff. We almost were. I blacked out when I hit the water. Vanessa pulled me to shore. Spent weeks on foot after that. Had some lucky breaks with the weather, but we only made it because we had each other. Yeah. No more small talk. Oh no, I'm asking all the questions. How's your family? Do you ever hear from your family? Nah. Ma left the country, I think. Huh? Don't know where. Tyler got away too. My pa and I sent letters a few times. But 
You said it was too dangerous for me. So that stopped too. Wow. And that's it. It's just me now. Ever been recognized? In all these years, you've never been recognized? I had some close calls in town. Hmm. But you don't really know. You just feel people looking. Mm. So now I don't go far. Library, the market. That's about it. Wow, what a what a life. What a life he has, just so isolated. Forever. I don't remember you having a scar before. Oh, I used to explore a lot in the early days. One time I came across a bear that I thought was hurt. Turns out she had just had cubs. Lesson learned. Right, he's lucky then. So, why did you come here, Zoe? You said you wanted to talk. I said I wanted you to write. But you came in person. Why? I keep seeing your face and my dreams out on the streets. And? And I knew if I didn't come look you in the eye. That you couldn't move on. If you want to talk about it, I might understand better than most. And I'm good at listening. I do want to talk about it, yes. He is good at listening. That night, when you took me upstairs and the power went out, do you remember? Of course. Of course he I does. was just as scared as you. How would he ever he forget? Said, don't make a sound. And it's like I've been holding my breath ever since. When all I really want to do is scream and scream and never stop. I was just trying to get you quiet. Mm. The cops were breaking in. I didn't want you to get hurt. I know. I didn't say it made sense. You know what the two of us have in common? We both got dealt a shitty hand and spent the rest of our lives trying not to fold. I like that. You and me? We're a lot alike. Hmm. Maybe we are. Maybe in some ways. Uh oh. Jay. Why? Why'd you start writing me? I told you. There's a lot I never got to talk about. I know. But why me? You said you see my face at night. Sometimes I see yours too. <gasps> All these years later. You think I'd be able to move on, but I never have. Same with you must hate me. After everything my family did to you. Your family ruined my life. I don't hate you. Both things are true. I don't hate you. Jay, I won't lie. Seeing you isn't easy. Your family killed a lot of people. I've been afraid of this moment for a very long time. But... You also looked out for me that night. Mm. I can't pretend I don't remember that, too. How can you be so forgiving? Because you're kind, no. Hate destroys us. I have support. Hate destroys us. Because if I let myself hate you, then I'm lost. I know the feeling. Jay. Mm. Are you okay? I mean, are you really okay? I always told myself I got dragged into it. That family's family and I did it because I was one of them. But what if I'm wrong? What if it's who I am? No. Do you think I'm bad? Am I... Am I broken? Mm-mm. No, 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 no. Oh, but... 
But this is so... Both of these answers, again, I don't see Jay as a bad person. He did get dragged into it. I mean, yes, he could have walked away, but he was just so young and probably didn't have a clue what to do. I'm going to say no, you're not. You gave a scared little girl her stuffed owl back. <sighs> No one bad and broken would have done that. You remember that? Of course. You shouldn't have been there. You were just a kid. So were you. Yeah. Oh, exactly. I should get back down to the bus stop. Wait. I I was going to make dinner soon. Do you want some? Jay. <sighs> I don't know. It's rabbit. And <sighs> it's beautiful here at sunset. Rabbit, huh? Ah, they're so good braised. <laughs> Show you how if you like. I am kind of hungry. <laughs> That's nice. That's really positive. I feel good. The thing about shadows is you can't escape them. You just learn to keep them behind you and look toward the light. Oh, did he? Why are some of us able to grow <gasps> and change? Hmm. Why do some of us find ways to endure? Oh, wow. Where is he? Sharon and oh nice where's the cat while others just wither on the vine oh. I don't know the answers but I know I'm done running from shadows mm. nobody's chasing me nobody ever was You voicemail from who? Hey, Zoe. Uh, it's Grandpa. <laughs> I was thinking about our conversation the other day about tracing up. He's the getting things. help. Uh, well, there's something I never told anyone. Oh. That day in Two Rock, when I suggested we take the scenic route, there was a reason. I'd been there before, you see. Oh. Everything that came afterward, uh, doesn't oh. dream. All of it. I think it was all my fault. Please, you don't because he has that connection with Dante. Oh my god. Grandpa? What? <gasps> Who did that? What happened? Oh no, you are not. No, you do not finish there. I'm sorry. You are not. <sighs> nope, 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 nope. 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 <laughs> oh, that ending. No, no. Get out. Stop. Mm, okay, well, let's go over our choices and then think about what just happened. Love. Cares for others and acts with empathy. Believes in the good intentions of others. I think I've had things like that, like, the whole way through. I'm just such... I'm either such a trusting person or I'm a complete pushover <laughs> oh my gosh they survived the desert dream Zoe went to college she beat her record holding breath spoke about the future told Vince about her problems only 41% another nightmare yeah Jim's apartment 
we found his meds. We didn't let him skip his meds. I just think that's because maybe I've had some dealings with people that are quite stubborn and it's just really frustrating. So I, I, I just completely understand. Tackled an innocent pedestrian 95%. Damn, whoops. Visited Jay 84%. Ah, uh, amazing. Shared a meal. Only 47%. So Jay's fate. He remained in Canada 76%. Vince and Michelle's fate. Vince took office job after settlement 15%. Michelle escaped uninjured 50%. They stayed married 47%. Tyler's fate. He became a fugitive. Sharon's fate. She escaped uh, the country with Paul, 62%. That's a lovely outcome for them. And I want to believe that the cat's there too, somewhere. So Jay, 14 years ago, 73%. They continued along with Vanessa. I'm very curious to see how many people actually jumped. Reached the falls. Jumped with Vanessa, 47%. Ah, oh, that is incredible. Well, that is it. We've come to the end of At Dusk Falls and I feel so satisfied with the ending. I feel that we got a lot of questions answered. We got a lot of loose ends tied up. I'm just really glad that we got to see what happened with all of the characters and like nothing is left unanswered for me except the thing with Jim, the granddad. My theory with that is that I think Dante actually knew Jim and perhaps Jim was even maybe involved in some of this, um, these bribes, this money laundering thing that Dante, the sheriff was involved in. I think Jim knew a lot more about that than he ever told. And the person that shot him at the end, could that have actually been Dante or someone that Dante hired to go and attack him, to go and shoot him? And does that mean that all along Jim was right about seeing someone and everyone just like uh, went like that because they just thought he was a senile old man? That's pretty sad. I feel that Zoe has had a really positive outcome. She is now able to move on from her past. I know that she has just walked herself into another very, very bad situation with, with Jim, her granddad. So I'm hoping, oh my God, that's just more trauma for her though, isn't it? Honestly, but I'm really happy with everyone's outcome. I feel that Jay's had a really good outcome. He's living in the forest. He's by himself, so it's a little bit lonely. But otherwise, I feel that he's okay. I feel that everyone is going to be okay, except Jim. And I'm just really positive about this ending. I, I, I loved it. I thought this was fantastic. It was like reading a book, but you're involved in making all of the choices. I just thought it was so much fun and I absolutely loved it. I am tempted to play this again by myself and choose different things that I never chose before, take different paths, see if I can get like bad endings for characters because personally I think that I got some really good endings, really positive endings for pretty much all of the characters i'm so happy i feel really good about everything i thought this was absolutely fantastic i adore games with a story like this many characters games where you can make choices change the story i love that it gave us a uh, the tree branch to show us all of our choices i am just happy as larry with this game i thought it was fantastic and I don't know why it's taken me so long to play it but I just thought it was absolutely incredible and I loved it I absolutely loved it and I will be playing it again trying to get some different outcomes it was 
great. It was so, so good. I really hope you guys enjoyed this as well. If you've played this too, I wonder if you got a similar outcome to me or was yours just a little bit different? Let me know down in the comments, but I hope you enjoyed As Dusk Falls. I thought it was excellent. I am so, so happy. Thanks so much guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.